Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to continue the Archon Quest Chapter 3, Act 2. I heard Act 2 is going to be very long. So I actually finding the right time to play Act 2. I think I'll start right now. Lah. If it's way too long and uh, running out of time, I'll split it into another part later on. <laughs> okay, find Duyazad. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, out in the bazaar, right? Down here, right? Yes. Ah, there she is. There she is! Dinyarzad! <laughs> We're back! Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. <laughs> Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Yep. Discover anything over there? Of course we went. A lot of things happened there. More questions, though. <laughs> Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. <gasps> My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Dia! You are eavesdropping! <laughs> it's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> The festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are gonna try to take advantage of that. Are you ready? Oh, uh, you two <laughs> must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. Okay. So, here we go. Act 2. Where is it? Oh, here. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. Not at all. Uh, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next <laughs> time. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia's still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, Dunyarzad. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon started to really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival, too. Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Thinking about Plus. food is just going to keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, Traveler. And I guess it's already the next day. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. 
We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. <sighs> Today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, but shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. All right. Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event. And they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They pay for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the mora. What is this, doing your that stuff request? <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! This is a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushava mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumera roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. I know all of them. <laughs> You don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Natlon as soon as possible! Well, that would be chapter, what? Five? Six. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Alright. Oh, this place. Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun Similar to try to together. Alchemy? Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably to? fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Hmm, it's way too random. Well, mm -hmm. according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunyarzad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Oh. Just choose any two materials. Uh, I'll give the most, I guess. Um, let's give a C class. And maybe... A chunk. Let's see what happens. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. The moon? Paima wants to take a look too! Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paima bit into. Let's <laughs> always think about food. The moon, huh? Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh, wait a moment. Would it be something else if I give something else? <laughs> Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. 
It means illusions and lies. Eh? Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. <laughs> Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stop. There must be something. They say the Subzeros Festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. Oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros would be just as impressive. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. <laughs> it's a weird guy with a weird hat! Hey, it's Dunyarzad! <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um... The Hallowed Night of Flowers. It's an honor that Hallowed you know Night of Flowers. <coughs> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Night of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus Festival. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalta candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed. <laughs> yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? Ferris, the Night of Flowers, is another Subzeros festival icon, and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. <laughs> oh, not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes ready here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. <laughs> and there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Um. <laughs> huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni Kabuto is a little spicier than Lizard Tail. Tunyarzad, you tried them before? Okay. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants the Sunsetia flavor. It's all right. Paimon believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Um... Uh, the... How about four? Wait, this is four. Uh... Oh my god, it doesn't matter actually, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Three, four... Uh, I'll just say four. Lah, right? Just take number four. <laughs> Excellent oh. work! That is indeed Sunsetia. Did I just pick the right option? Or... <laughs> Paimon bet you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck, and Paimon was right! Attention! Here's your Sunsetia flavored candy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies. It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless night of flowers. Yeah, baby, Somehow got that right. <laughs> we got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Uh, sure. Dunyarzad, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Subzeros festival. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing.
Oh, I can still talk to him. No. Attention, young soldiers! Are you here to join our rank? <laughs> Return to the nearby quarters. Um, this way. Okay. We're too late. Oh. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Boss, isn't that her? Uh oh. Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those aeromites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayamis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Homayamis would shell out to get you back. Hmm? They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! <laughs> hey, did you scumbag oh, they yes, consider they. that the Homayamis oh. might have hired a merc that outclasses you? You're Dia! Dia the Flame Maid! wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about her for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Oh, we're Don't still fighting. get too cocky. Oh boy. Traveler, take Miss Dunyarzad to a safe location. No, we're gonna see <coughs> oh, him help. Sorry. There's too many of them. Mm. Mm, you're right. All right, fine. Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. So we're not going to even battle. We're just gonna escape. <laughs> Alright. Where is where are we supposed to go? Oh, okay. Ah. Alright. Dunyarzad, are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah. I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Yeah, don't worry. All right. My lady, traveler, found ya. Dia, you took care of them so fast. Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm! Huh? Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting no, used they, to this new greatsword. Let me see how Dia fights. <laughs> Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword? Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> oh. That came from her? Uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and... I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, dear. <sighs> Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <laughs> You're feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. 
traveler. Can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Truly. I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Okay. Concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. Oh, Simi Kali. Can't believe it's Elazar. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar, and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me, so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here, and all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world. Right? Uh, as long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no. Even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you two so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in life. But I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of sub -Zerus about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub -Zerus festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, we should still make it in time. Let's go. <laughs> it's already night, okay. Let's go. Let's see. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Oh no. Does this mean? Over there, someone's yelling at Nilu. I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of Subzerus is one of the key parts of the Subzerus Festival. If we can't perform it, it's not allowing. The Subzerus Festival. The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival. 
but they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. This is a hard pill to swallow, but you're right. Things mm. would only get worse. Art, dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No! I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. What? We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The Sub-Zeru's festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Yeah, they really don't like the Kusanali. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad, you all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah, uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Uh -huh. Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah. Uh, no, they just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the dance of sub zero so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub zero festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. Mm. If you say so. But you can sneak out for the next sub festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. I have a bad feeling about this. I can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But... Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milo's dance. Was forced to come to an unfortunately abrupt end. Oh. Is this the Grand Sage saying this? The project is entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from. That sounds like maybe a Nakasha or something. Is this a loop? Hold on. I thought it's cancelled. Ah, below.
arrived early. Uh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough Yeah, this is the same thing. I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls Exactly the same thing, yeah. Sure! Uh, Traveler? Deja vu. Why are you just standing there? Let's get going! It's uh, Deja vu here. Wait, we're doing this again? Is Dunyazak gonna speak again? Uh, Ooh, they're selling food yeah, over yeah. that way! Let's go take a look! That's dialogue, bro. From the Huffed Mewa feast. You are Huffed quite Mewa. well informed, miss. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. They're all plants! Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. Can I remember Actually, this? What is the Huffed Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the Subzeris Festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archive. Something's familiar. This is exactly the same. In, in the, the form, form of the, of the moon. moon. Really? Paimon thought it looked like yeah. some kind of food. Wait, I didn't even give the items. Hmm. The moon signifies... Hmm. It's escaping me for now. Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> it illusions means and... illusions and Wait. lies. Does that mean anything? But if you trust your intuition and overcome yeah, your fears, the, the sun will surely rise. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. Uh, I think so we're going where to... to next? Dunyaza is not even speaking. <laughs> Because you already heard of it. We're going here, right? Just Exactly the same. What's going on? Is this a play? Ferris, the Night of Flowers. It's another Subzeris festival I Oh, and we gotta choose the five again. Children. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can meet the Night of Flowers. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some boxes ready here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Uh, what's the pick? Don't these boxes all look the same? Two of them, uh... <laughs> No. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random. Yep. Ooh, how Only Kabuto and Lizard Tail. And there's also Lizard Tail. Yep. And oh, why do those flavors even exist? Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants to eat the Sensadia flavors. It's the fourth one. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? It's four. I know it's four already. <laughs> I know it's four already. Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Ha <laughs> ha! Paima bet you had incredible luck, and Paima was right! No, we know this already. But what's going on? Something's not right. Yeah, we oh, have to leave this sure. time. Something's going on. Uh, where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like that? The flavor of deja vu. Pick the Sansedia flavored box of candy by yourself. Well, we, we got it f correct the first time. <laughs> of course we know. Okay. Uh, go to Lambert's table. Oh, 
Vai. A feeling of deja vu. Yeah. like a safe point but this is In this case, what is this three time Paimon also guide? felt something like that today but that's just our brains playing tricks on us isn't it so why'd you run here in such a hurry see if you can get rid of this deja vu well this is just our second time though If I put didn't pick four, will it keep going until I pick four? But I first time got it four. Are you really gonna eat it? Uh, isn't this going a bit too far? <laughs> I tried this before. Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Huh? Um, how about we go out again and try something else? I mean, isn't this our second time here? I'm confused what's going on here. I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then 
Is it only the two of us? It's almost time. This observer's festival. Huh? Time for what? That's going to be cancelled. Milo's dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Uh, let's go. This is going to be even more sad. Are we just teleporting there straight away? Yeah, it's the same thing here. your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. Yeah, this didn't happen we because we went back in time with the Understood. I will inform him when I return. The Sub Zero's festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. <sighs> Milu, are you okay? Oh, Junior's odd. The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. It truly is unfortunate, but I don't want to cause trouble for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizer? True, but... Uh... Well, okay. I'll just have to try again next year. The next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank that you for your help, everyone. Hyman can't believe what those heartless geezers did! Yeah, we still end up the same thing. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna restart again when we sleep. Right? So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja vu feeling was all about? Hmm. Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. Huh? We can chalk things up to exhaustion. What was that? We can do more thinking tomorrow. And there's a squirrel up there. <laughs> Observing a modest drop in the output of Nyana energy. Nyana energy. Continue to monitor the variances of the data and find the cause as soon as possible. They're finding a cause of something. What is it? And we're back again, isn't it? Ah! What was that? Why does Paimon feel so tired after so much sleep? This is all a lie, it's an illusion. Uh, Probably. Anyway, we should go meet Dunyarzad right away. No, this seems the same thing. Hold on. The continuation. Why are we in the loop again? We did something different. Good morning, Dinyarzad. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not at all. I arrived early. Huh? I'm not yeah. you sound kind of tired. Is everyone feeling tired? Asleep? No need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Oh no. Don't tell me. Great idea! Let's get going! Is she feeling even more Can unwell I? now? Because time passes. Yeah. 
This is not right. Something's not right here. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy the Sub Zero's festival. What is causing this? Oh, are you interested in Yalda candies? I have some boxes of candy here. Pick whichever one you want. Should we not pick number four? Maybe? What happens if we don't pick number four? Hmm. Not much of a choice. All these boxes look the same. Because we never choose the wrong option. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a okay, random... Okay, it. And there's also of course. Huh? What were those mm. Who helped me choose? Paimon wants to eat the Sunsetia flavor. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from Let's left to one. right. Which one do you want? Um. Why did this feel creepy <laughs> suddenly? The music was so suddenly. What is this? Doki Doki again? Guess we cannot... We cannot escape this. Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Oh, congratulations! Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Why? Number one is Lizard Tail, number two is Hara Fruit, number three is Lavender Melon, number five is Only Cover Two. How did you know all that? We picked four the entire time. We didn't pick a wrong option. <laughs> What's that? The hey, dendro where are you going? What's going Familiar on? Figure. Did you see something? Us leaving Dunyar's side without letting her know is kind of rude, you know. She's alright. We're not in office. Now <laughs> uh, we can't even come in. Okay, we can't even talk with her. Observe. Hmm? Oh, there she is. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. She's checking around. <laughs> She's not here now. A familiar figure. Traveler? Oh, there she is. Hey, she disappeared. That? Oh, the bird is gone. It's an illusion. It's a Genjutsu. <laughs> There she is. Oh. 
Ten Pai Monster here. What just happened? What's happening here? Why are there two Dunyarzads? You already know that this isn't your first sub Zeros festival, don't you? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you already know how to use this. Oh. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Oh, why is it yellow? Isn't it supposed to be green? Uh, y you know Paimon? Well, we have, we have uh, heard her voice before. The golden apple. Well, this seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Okay, all that. Oh, what the? Memory, so many days worth of memories. This is our 20th time at the Sub Zero's festival? Huh? No, the 30th? 40th? Just how many times have we been to the Sub Zero's festival? I guess we only played three, three of them. <laughs> Three times. Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. What the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. What? As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. Yeah, that I really first like Dunyarzad is in front of you right now and she doesn't have a lot of time left. That's what I thought. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Nahida, of course. Introduced before. <laughs> Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait, please don't tell Paimon, even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called the samsara. Samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside the one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on Why you to it... find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your mind. I don't know how you'd be after that. Okay. I can only give you surface-level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sub Zero's festival. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, 
What do you think the truth is? Hmm. I guess we have some options here. When you enter a state of contemplation, you can choose any text entry to interpret it. This interpretation process involves analysis of the text entry and many yield new entries. Oh? Once interpreted, you may submit that text as a conclusion. Some text entries can be associated with one another once interpreted. Select Associate to choose the other text entry. Then select Trigger Association. You can gain next new text entries by performing accurate associations. If one of the text entries on the current page can be used as a conclusion, select the entry before choosing Submit Conclusion. Uh huh. Abnormal mental fatigue, deja vu, alchemical divination results, the grand sages speak, the Subserus festival samsara. We've already experienced the Subserus festival many the voice. times. You got voice. The day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Okay. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? Wait, interpret again. Ah, uh, hold on. The moon, illusions, and lies. What did they all mean? What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Associate. This is different. What is this? Oh, what? We have to... Select another text entry to trigger the association. Um, I'm, I don't know what to choose here. Let's try. Trigger association. Uh, Subzerus festival samsara. Time loop. Oh, they change it. Change the option once you associate. Okay. That should be it. The flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. Uh, so now I can submit a conclusion. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try this because this is what came up. Uh -huh. given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. It feels like time's just repeating itself. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <coughs> Don't you, Zahad? The Subzerus Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry and find the truth before today's festival ends. Oh my gosh, what do we do? And we're here suddenly. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the Samsara of the Subzerus Festival. Okay. 
Okay. But to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so we must have missed something, right? It's not just a time loop because the real Dunyaza is still feeling that. Paimon's memories mm. say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Why don't we start with those stall owners? Stall owners? Oh, here again. This is the... Hey there! Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Huh? What brought this about? Yeah, I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling produce here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Mm, um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. Mm. <laughs> uh, he actually has a point. Is this a he dream? said no one dreams in Sumeru. Is everyone dreaming? Hmm. True. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. Okay. Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Ooh, I knew it. The moon. I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said... Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? Sick. The moon represents illusions and lies. Oh! I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. That's it. The I believe moon. you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that, yeah. the divination That's what's going on. does sound like it's related. I had to pick on. that option. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything Probably. more specific <laughs> is beyond <laughs> the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the it's sun so will nice. surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. It's no good for practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Mm. Who else can we talk to? Hmm, Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. Uh, really? You think she'll brush us off <laughs> again? Yeah, if we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. Hmm. I can see why At this, this time is long now. Dia's probably how many just loops finished. Those get. kidnappers. Let's go find her. Right, the kidnappers. Talk to Dia. There they are. I'm 
fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Paimon, Traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous get. A uh, gang of kidnappers just ambushed and you defeated them. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's odd, I could have went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the traveler to take Dunyar's odd somewhere to rest yeah, up while you exactly. check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> we need to say something convincing. Oh, what? You got another one of these? Uh... People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds, and then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. Mm hmm. This was the one we saw that maybe had something to do, but I don't the think they were help. Illusions and lies. What did they all mean? My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Uh, what do I pick here? Is it... I think we just say about her claim or... Should we? Tell her, traveler. You got injured because you aren't used to your car and you sold your great sword, yes. Uh, I didn't tell anyone about that. Including Miss Dunyarzad, you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? Alright, so this is the situation. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. My lady, are you angry? She's unwell. Are we going all to right. the other one? I'll give you one? the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyar's odd isn't completely safe here. Bring Deya to Mahida. Oh. Okay. Why are we going this way when we're going back up? Or oh, maybe it's a shortcut. Yes, yes. Nahida! We brought a friend! Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Does she not see but we do? Huh? <sighs> I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Can't see her too. Oh. Maybe she is slowly seen. Hold on. Over there. Is that? She hasn't seen her yet. But does she have a sign that... Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's she's lying down here, isn't she? Isn't she? How's she doing? She's guessing that she's here. Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. Yeah, how did you know? How did you know she was here? I 
can sense her aura. I... There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The sub -Zero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Maybe. If the sages are, it's probably the Akasha or something. Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the sub -Zero's festival as a sick joke. Then... You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Then we should just take out the Akasha from ourselves. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Can we just take him off? Yeah, tell us anything about the Akasha. Right. Didn't you awaken <laughs> our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha. The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the oh. manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. It relies on the power of a Gnosis. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, at Paimon quotes, <laughs> The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and grants knowledge to the people. Hmm, wait. I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always yeah. used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Mm, most information in the Akasha comes from Amin, so yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds about right. What do you think? Are we gonna think again? Options again. Oh my gosh. It's information on the Akasha. Interpret first. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Still the same. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to this operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. I guess we submit this, right? Don't tell me I'm wrong again, if I pick this and it's wrong. Because <laughs> this is the new one. Interpret again is just the same thing, right? Okay. Yeah, Nick. okay. Summit? That doesn't sound right. No. I need to carefully think things through. Again, the don't dream one. That's my second thought. That doesn't sound no. right. Abnormal mental oh. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Uh huh. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so... Who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. Maybe she just What's take the point off. of doing <laughs> something like that? 
Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, yeah, you would know every basically turn Sumeru person. City into a single massive brain. True. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha yeah, terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. But yeah, I don't think it's that simple. Probably won't work too. But we'll try. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. <sighs> Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Okay, everyone's removed the Akasha terminals. You got some How progress does everyone now. Feel? Uh, I also noticed something else. Yeah, there is a beep sound. Remember that? Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal! The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? I heard the same sound in Port Ormos. Right! The guy who is Akasha turned red. There we go, we still hear it. Traveler, did you hear that? How do we still hear it? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. Duh. We took off our Akasha terminals. Oh no. Don't tell me we're going to restart again. Casualties? What's... Oh no. It's exceeded its expected length. But we cannot lose all of our progress. What are you academy guys doing? We're gonna start all over again, aren't we? Wait. Uh-huh. 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 Why is this showing? Why is this showing? Paimon remembers everything! <laughs> Good! You adapted quickly this time. We definitely took off our Akasha terminals last night. Yeah, but okay, we, we don't have to run home. Why is that? Yeah. We've been implanted with another form of the terminus. We fail at severing our connections with them. <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats and experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. What are these academies doing? If we're lab rats, like then this. what are you? You're using us. Mira, you've never told us anything about yourself. She's the Archon. Hmm. The moon. I guess. Oh, I'm the moon. Wait. If you say you're the, the moon, you're an illusion? What the closer to the truth so you should focus on other things don't get distracted and miss any clues <sighs> okay then dia helped us a lot yesterday so let's go find her if paimon's reading the time correctly those kidnappers should be showing up soon oh what is this <laughs> we're just skipping through everything taking care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Huh? Dia? You're not hurt What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? <laughs> you, 
You didn't get hurt this time. Huh? What do you mean, this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. That's new. Yeah, getting used to your new great sword. Shh! How did you know about my great sword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Doonerzad. So Tia's lost her memories after all. Aww. Anything strange? You already know that I got a new great sword. Hmm. If I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so familiar. It's as if you used it many I times. already used it to fight a countless number of battles. You're saying that although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Mm, yeah, this has never happened before. Yeah, Hyman's feeling really hopeful. Oh, you're right. Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened. I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so. I don't know. So you we'll want see. us to take the Nirzad somewhere else to rest <laughs> while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Uh, uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. And we're skipping through again. Oh my gosh. We're skipping through this again. <laughs> I like how they use that to skip everything. That Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyar's life? Maybe not. Maybe it's still the same, but just a slight change. Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Are we still gonna go f through thousands of loops? Hey! <laughs> This is common knowledge, but the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? Mm. It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just right. been one endless sub festival. Okay, okay, no more! <laughs> Too philosophical. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety to key away. <laughs> uh, uh, huh? Oh, Dad, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Huh? People always say they feel a <laughs> sense of relief after they take a duke duke. <laughs> That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Okay. Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that <laughs> Paimon's at a loss for words. You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. Yeah. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival every day, it feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Uh, let's go back to our room. Oh. The beep again. Oh no. Continue the harvest. Compared to what we stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. Why do you mean sacrifices? Harvest more knowledge, I think. But what we stand to achieve. This is why they know everything, because they're taking everyone's information. We're still in the same day. Yeah. Experience again and again. 
we can just forget about it so we won't think about it too much. I'm about to do, do, do that. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> I guess you were looking out for us after all. <laughs> of course. No, no, no. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Now you're just talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? So the time loop is indeed incorrect. Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Yeah, Dea's fighting skills have been improving. Dunya's illness has gotten worse, true? So it's not just a time loop. Are we going to choose again? Uh. The moon, illusions, and lies. What did they all mean? Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory. And Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later samsara cycles. Yeah. But to associate with something then. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night. Yes. Even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. already experienced the Subzerus festival many times and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara so I need to associate this with something here which one though? I think it's the Akasha song oh a new one is added memories are deleted every day if all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. Hmm, yeah, that might make sense. This is the sacrifices are made. <sighs> we are in a time loop. Our memories have been erased at the end of each day. Does this apply to those, the Grand Sage and everything, everyone else? Because they are also doing it again and again. But muscle memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her great sword. Now everything makes sense. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, tell us if we're right or wrong. To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature Mistaken. because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. So not quite correct then. That isn't simple at all! Still the wrong one. Huh? Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go! So, was that the wrong option again? <laughs> or maybe it's the right option, I just had to go through this again. Uh, get more information and stuff. Take it easy. Oh, great. I can see why this takes so many hours. Take it easy. I don't know how much more of this story. 
And I still can't go up, so I better finish. <laughs> don't know how long this will go. There you are. It really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt today. Get hurt? Why would I? Don't underestimate me. Well, you're still getting used to your new great sword. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and <laughs> wait a second. How did you know I got a new great sword to begin with? I didn't tell anyone about it. Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Uh, I'm gotten yeah. a little sick of doing it. <laughs> Let's just get straight to oh, the point. That works. What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right then. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it. Yes, your memory's being erased every day. Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed that. Hmm. If the sages were behind this, if they utilized the entire city's resources as well as information supplied by the Akasha. Right! They could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! But that's kind of a hassle to do that. It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. Okay. You have proof? Where? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, our conclusion isn't correct, actually. Paimon can't believe it's Dia who wants to show us something this time. Two days ago, we were the ones taking her to see Dunyar's eye. Yeah, but she has something to... Let me find so Let me get this. Double blade. Shit. What is it? A plan? This is it. Oh, okay. Huh? This is a wooden training dummy. dummy. What about it? See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? And the sages would have had to reproduce yeah. every mark I left during previous training like sessions. I said, it's, a, it's gonna be a hassle for them to just change everything and uh, what is what was done. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say. Each swordsman has their own unique style, and even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? <gasps> what if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? This is getting too philosophical now. People often say <laughs> that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Whew, I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? It's surprisingly game. fun. Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. So this is just proving why the answers, the theories that we made up were wrong. Back That's to square, square one. one. Uh, Is our memory of the theory also wrong? If it's not memory, yeah. If it's not memory deletion, then what is it? <sighs> but at least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. 
time? We're not in the time loop. We're not in the real world. <sighs> yep, that's true. So, can we think of any new ideas right now? Something strange? Strange? Paimon feels like everything's been strange lately. How come we never thought about leaving the city? That's an option. If we leave the city... We didn't think about Maybe it. Maybe we've yeah. forgotten something about leaving the city. What if the time outside is different with what's here? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Should think of that. But all of these are just theories. Not all of them are right. We're still, <laughs> we're still theorizing. This might be wrong also. Still, let's see. I... <laughs> you guys saw that. It's gonna be wrong again. Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same it's a time, dream world. we have a new question. What will happen if we try to leave the city? Have we ever tried? Hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. We have? We did? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Already awakened? Yep. Something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. There's the beep again. This is a erasing memory. So what is this? Let's leave. Our memories are back! Huh? Uh, about that. Well, where should Paimon begin? Hmm? Traveler, aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Um? Listen to it and you'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Can I go back? There are countless spaces here. Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. Wait, Paimon... You know, okay. Two days ago, sure. What's going on? Alright, we're okay, leaving the city. So, what happened? Wait, we're in the flashback. Uh, Nahida? We don't have many more festivals to waste. Hurry and find the truth. Okay. Hold on, eh? I guess this switch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the whole game here. And one day I'll get her. Once her banner comes up. Anyway. Find a way out. We can just teleport out somewhere. City? What is the academia up to now? Don't ask me. It's not like I can tell you anything. 
This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. Just wait forever. Because tomorrow is back to today. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> and we can't go out. It looks like the Academia already announced the lockdown for Sumeru City today. Lockdown. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. You don't we just know. received an order that no one is allowed to enter the or exit Sage. Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. Of course. <laughs> Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. It hmm. looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. Then we have to run. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry! Huh? Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? Oh, we're leaving Paimon. Together it'll be the same as before. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm on wait for you. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon as possible. Just a quick look. Okay, okay. And please be careful. Are we going to run? Or maybe <gasps> they have to memories. Oh just memories, okay. That was just memories though. Let's go and try to do this. Wait, again? Oh? Wait, Paimon broke free of the. Paimon, stop! Paimon would never see you again! You just disappeared! Paimon waited for you for hours and hours at the city wall and you never came back! You promised Paimon that. So, Paimon broke free of the... But we went back in loop again. <laughs> Paimon doesn't care! Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay! Paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day! Oh, don't remember, still sorry. Tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday. Paimon describes the plan from yesterday. Hmm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you disappeared in an instant. Hmm. I don't even know that yesterday existed. I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days memories can't be awoken. So, if we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased? So they didn't just restrict access to Sumeru, they're also erasing those who leave. 
Oh, what? So it's not just erasing. It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside. If our memories will be erased, can we leave behind something other than memories? <laughs> like Prime One did just now. Yeah. I'm not the used message. to being stared at. Well, okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyar's ad for me. Yep, now we're talking. And I assume there's gonna be another. This is still a flashback, though. Right? Okay, we're just taking care of her. What time passes? And she's back. I'm done. Here you go. What? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? I need some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it can connect to any node. To make something like this? Ahira, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand! Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep, <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. We'll never know until we try! At least we're taking the initiative now! Let's go then! Let's expose those sages! I still think you should stay. <laughs> Paimon <laughs> isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday, but Paimon still isn't happy about it. Okay, see you tomorrow, Traveler! That covers everything that's happened so far! <sighs> yeah, that was all the flashback. So that message was what I left for myself when I left the city. Oh, that was the message! Okay, I see. Some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you that understand what's message. going on, let's hear the messages together. Okay. Can't go back. There are countless spaces yeah, here. This is the message. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. This is just one of them. I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. Flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these space. spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. So there's no humans. That's one heck of an info dump! It sounds like you left the Sumeru city space when you set foot outside of the walls! But the walls. everything looked completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside! That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. They only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. The sun is the real one. The moon is an illusion. The beat. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. The beat means a space disappeared. There's a final space. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... And then there's a bus. Probably 
because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, right. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message? It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? Final space. Spaces without human presence. The real world, the space where we were yesterday. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? Yeah. So it can't be the real world then. My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beep from the Akasha. I think if I'm wrong, it will just give me another option, so... Spaces without human presence. The space where we were yesterday. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. No human presence, they disappeared. The last space disappeared. That doesn't no. sound right. I need to carefully... Oh, it's the real world. You said it would be catastrophic. Yeah, this is very real. Oh, so that's what it is! After the sound of the beep, the final space, the Sub Zero's festival, also disappears, and we're taken to the next day. Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them. Do lots of new spaces appear every day? Paimon's head is. Just what are these spaces anyhow? Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. Mm -hmm. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Wow, the Archon War, huh? That's an analogy and a half. Secret. Organize your thoughts on the familiar bench in the city. Hmm. Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, so maybe the all thing. they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. It's gonna be two hours, wow. And I think there's still a lot more. <laughs> How long? Hold on. Do you want some alone time to think? <sighs> Alright then, Pima won't disturb you. Dance of Subzeros is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Okay then. I'll see you later. Have you figured it out yet, Traveler? Time is ticking away. Awesome! What is it? Paima wants to know. Oh, wait, no. Let's meet up with Nahida first. You can tell us both together. This time we're gonna get to the truth. 
Please don't tell me it's another wrong <laughs> uh, theory again. Wait, can I just... This is another question. What if I try to teleport out right now? No, I, I don't want it to suddenly loop. <laughs> I want to finish this quick. Go back here. Oh gosh. You're back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging by the looks on your faces, are you ready to take your Subserious exam and graduate from the festival? Subserious exam and graduate. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Oh my gosh. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of- It's the same thing. We have already experienced the Subzerus festival many times. Yes. All the bizarre spaces oh. I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. Yes. Dreams with no human presence. Those spaces remind me of dreams. Dreams, like the one I had in the Avidia Forest, except these have no sign of human presence. Oh, that doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. Hold on. The moon, illusions, and lies. What did they all mean? All right, people from Sumer don't dream. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Because? 